All right, so here we are at the front of Audi, another UK supermarket. I've never been in Audi before, I don't shop in Audi. So we're gonna to learn together. I'm gonna to go in here and see if we can easily be a vegan in Audi. Let's do it. This place is designed really weird. I'm used to Sainsbury's and Tesco's. I don't know where anything is over here. All right, so here we are at the section where they sell breast milk, which is highly weird and sexual abuse. If you saw Ed's dismantled dairy video, uh, you know, know all about this here, red, red tractor approved farms. But it's weird they don't have the um, vegan milk here. Frozen berries, really good. Smoothie mixes, really good. Not vegan, not vegan, not vegan. Where's all the vegan ice creams? They don't have any vegan ice creams in there. Dairy here, more dairy, more dairy. Baby chickens hacked up into pieces, stolen breast milk, coagulated, solidified and salt added. So this is a pancetta, which is like, I think it's Italian bacon, American style bacon, Spanish chorizo. The point I'm trying to make is that pigs are murdered all over the world. So it doesn't matter where you go, pigs are being stabbed in the throat and turned into ham or bacon or prosciutto or wherever. This is pate. It's basically blended up liver. This must be the vegan section. So these corn products, these are eggs. So corn isn't a vegan company. They've got vegan products. This is what I get from corn. They've got a chicken free slice as well. Okay, now these, are these? Ah, oh, okay. Sweet potato burgers, here we go, this is vegan. Okay, these, red pepper, butternut, squash sausages. These are vegan. Cauliflower sausages, that would be weird, but yeah, vegan. These are pigs hacked up and put into little pastries. Pakora, looks like this deli brand is mostly vegan. Yeah, so there's some more stuff in here. They've got a little oriental vegetable selection here, vegan. Look what I found. This wasn't even in the right spot, but vegan, no chicken and burgers. Pigs in a blanket, how sadistic and weird. One piece of a pig wrapped around another piece of a pig in a bed of death. Yeah. Like if you're gonna get oven baked fries, they're always in vegetable oil most of the time. Just double check though. Here we go, what's up here? Cranberry sauce and pa pastry crowns. Anyone tried them? That, that looks weird. Okay, this looks like the, uh, more of the veg vegetarian stuff in here. Yes, there is a bunch of stuff here. Vegan sausage rolls, look out Greg's. Vegetarian society approved. Not all corn is vegan. That, breast milk. Oh, let's see if they've got vegan mayonnaise. No, this has got eggs, period, chicken periods. Like, it's really scattered in this supermarket. Probably one of the most scattered supermarkets I've ever been in. So it's kind of a little bit more, you've got to be more diligent. But the stuff is here. Christmas is coming up, so people will... I can't even pick this up. Shopping in a morgue, dead body in a bag. Exactly how the mafia do it. But for celebration, a satanic celebration to celebrate Christmas around the dead body of an animal. Makes no sense. Who's, who's doing this? Someone's putting these vegan products on top of the meat. Because, like, if you come here, this is how it was. Yeah, someone's doing stacktivism. It's actually quite a good idea if you wanted to grab the vegan products and go put them in the non-vegan section so people go, oh, well, what's that? When they're looking for their murdered animal, they pick up a vegan package. But yeah, someone's been doing that in this store, I think. Ah, oh, here we go. So this is uh, the first time you get fed an animal is when you're a baby and they've minced up a dead animal in this. Organic beef to feed to a little kid from seven months old. Seven months old, they're feeding murdered animals to kids, just deceiving them. What's this one? Apple and blueberry breakfast. It's got milk in there. Cow's milk, not human milk. Six months old, cow's milk from a different animal. So weird. This one's strawberries and apples. This one's vegan. Here we go, strawberries and apples. I'd be confident giving this to my child, but not a hacked up dead cow. Like how, hor how horrific, how horrific. This is a banana and apple, this is vegan as well. And this one has uh, breast milk in there from another animal. Totally weird. Let's see here, look. What's this one? from 12 months old, from a one year old, feeding him a dead bird, tortured dead bird to your kid without telling them. Look at this picture, a little happy chicken, a little kid playing. So it's carrots and the chickens in there all playing. This is propaganda, this is propaganda, this is what they do. Kids go, oh wow, look, it's all happy. Animal had their throat slit, drained their blood out, pulled their guts out. Kids grow up deceived about what they're eating. All right, we've got some fruit juice here, crisps. 
Crisps are usually cool. Nuts, sometimes they're covered in honey like these ones, so be careful. These are honey roasted, be careful. Honey is not vegan. Little nan chips, milk, breast milk in everything. They sprinkle breast milk in everything. Ooh, here we go. <sighs> so close, so close. It's got beeswax in the sprinkles. Milk, damn you. Baked beans, I love baked beans. Put them on a potato, put them on your toast. They're excellent and they're vegan. Here's one for you. Most of this cake icing, Betty Crocker cake icing, most cake icing doesn't contain any dairy. And if you just check the E numbers, they're usually, for most of the time, vegan. Here's another one. Here's a chocolate one. You go, spicy Mexican. What is this? This one looks good. Yeah, this is cool. If you've got no time, a bit of this, some beans or some tofu on top. Boom. There's got to be some good chocolate here. Okay, here we go. We've got some vegan chocolate here. Whatever this brand is, Moss Rotha. It's dark chocolate. There's another one. Just check these. Sometimes they put milk powder. This one's good. Look at this one, dairy fine. There's nothing fine about dairy industry. Check out the uh, dismantled dairy investigation, recent in the UK. Ooh, no, it's got milk. Fruits and vegetables. Beautiful, good for your fiber. And behind me we have the morgue. It's where the animals are laid to rest and where people go to pick up the animal body parts and consume them. This is hung for 21 days, hung in a cool room. So it started to decompose really, just a murdered animal. Slashed up, dead bodies. Here we go, some nice berries. See this, this looks much better. And your child won't be deceived if you give them strawberries over giving them a bit of steak minced up in their little dinner. Look at this, these look amazing. Grapes, pity about the packaging, but. Tomato, wood, sugar, starch, bit of canned spaghetti. Oil is fine but it's unhealthy, but it's vegan, so it's balsamic vinegar. Here's a good tip, coconut milk. You can replace it for cream. You can whip it up into whipped cream. You can use it in curries. You can use it as basically a milk or cream replacement. It's very rich, very high in saturated fat though, so I would use it sparingly if you care about your health, but if you don't, use this as a cream replacement. When I'm looking at the back, I'm just checking to see if milk is highlighted, because milk is an allergen for people. Uh, eggs and milk are highlighted usually in bold red light writing so it's pretty easy to see. I can tell that this has only plant products in there. So this chili here. But you know, it's very easy to look. See? See milk's highlighted? See it's highlighted, it stands out so you can tell. And the good part of it is you only have to look once. Once you look once you know that that's good. So it's not like you have to continuously be looking your whole life. You know what's vegan once you do it a couple of times. Okay, most wraps are most wraps are usually fine, um, but what they look what they're telling us to put in there. Put lamb in there. No, we'll just put hummus and tofu or something in there, or chickpeas or some vegetables, but not a roast baby. So why take something that's vegan like bread and turn it into a you know a murder scene? These are really good. Lentil flour. Oh, poppadoms are usually safe. Poppadoms are usually safe. Crumble them on top of a chickpea curry, or dip inside like some hummus or something. I don't know. Yeah, these look alright. Yeah, these these don't contain any milk. These are okay too. Party rings for the kids. This is 59p. That's the cheapest soy milk I've ever seen. 59p. That's hardly nothing for a liter of soy milk. They got almond milk for 89p as well. Oh, these are vegan friendly too. Haven't seen these before. True berry delight. Look alright. Oh, they're trying to copy Naked Bars. <laughs> trying to copy Naked Bars. They're exactly the same, but the Audi version. These Paleo Bars. Yeah, they're good too. We've got walnuts, nuts and seeds are always dried fruit. If you're trying to get calories in, that's a good way to get calories. These little trail mixes and stuff. If you're trying to lose weight, then I wouldn't, you know, go too hard. Wasabi peas, cornstarch, sugar. These are, yeah, these are good. Wasabi peas. They're spicy, but they're delicious. Addictive. This is linseed, so this is basically flaxseed. I think linseed and flaxseed are the same thing. But for your amigas, sprinkle it on your oats. Chia seeds, really good fats in there, chia seeds. Go hard on the chia seeds. 75p for a week's worth of oats. 75p, 75p. That'll last you a week. 10p a day? You telling me you don't have 10p a day for breakfast? Bit of soy milk, 50p for some soy milk. Oats and soy milk, some dried fruit, boom. Yeah, these are good too. 
little blueberry feel. And you can get some soy milk, cheap as well. Yes. Yeah, crumpets are good. These are good. Put some vegan butter on there. Bit of maple syrup. These hot cross buns, they look vegan friendly. Now we're getting into the dessert section. What do they got here for us? People in the comments section, tell me, what am I missing? Because I've never been in here. Help us out. Help Everyone help out in the comments section if you shop here often. Like, is there any accidentally vegan desserts here? Come on, there's gotta be something here. Peanut butter, boom. Maple syrup instead of honey. Get maple syrup. Jam. I don't think there's much more here. You know who was doing a vegan one of these? Holland and Barrett were doing a vegan panettone, or whatever that is. This is a panettone. A vegan one is that Holland and Barrett. Yeah, so that was uh, vegan at Audi. Like, I'm gonna say, like, Audi was a lot more difficult than Sainsbury's and Tesco's and uh, Morrison's. Like, I just found everything was scattered around. But one good thing about Audi is it's super cheap. It's cheaper than all the rest of the places I've been to. Like, by far as well, by a lot. So you're talking like 59p for soy milk, like that beats Sainsbury's by 40%. So if you're on a budget, come to Audi. You definitely have to look a little bit more carefully for things, but they're there. There's vegan options all throughout Audi. They're just scattered around. I guess that's better like to have everything scattered around, but it also means you don't know where to go. But it's good that people will have the option like here and there, it's just everywhere. Yeah, don't buy the murdered animal body parts at Audi. Don't buy the breast milk from exploited cows. Don't buy the honey, get the maple syrup, get the, the non-dairy milk and get the tofu replacements and boom. All good, vegan at Audi. Super cheap, check it out. And if anyone else has done vegan at Audi who can help me out in the comments section, put it down below. Where is all the vegan stuff in Audi? Help us out. All right, peace.